Hello, this tutorial in Logger Pro will show you how to add a second set of data to the same set of axes so you can have multiple experimental configurations on one graph. Right now I have a position versus time graph and you can see that the points are plotted already. I'm going to create a second configuration so that I can have two plots on the same set of axes. To do that, I'm going to go to data and I'm going to select new manual column. This is also going to be position data, so I'm going to call it position. I'm also going to put a two after it so I know that this is the second configuration. X is used for position, always in physics. I'm going to use X like X marks the spot, but I'm going to put a two there next to it so I remind myself it's the second position. Uh, and then units will also be centimeters like I have in my first set of data. When I click done, you'll see that a new column has appeared in our data set. And if I actually shrunk the graph a little bit and clicked on the data table, I could slide this over and you could move the bar here so that we can see all the columns at once. So the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to start by putting in my data for this new configuration. I'm going to go ahead and just add the numbers here that we can use for this. Now normally the numbers start appearing in the data table plotted right away. We don't see that happening now, but they are being plotted, just not turned on right now. If I turn, um, if I go to the label for my vertical column, I can click and as I see position two here, you can tell that by selecting that, the plot has been made. To actually toggle between the two of them, I could just select the one I'm interested in from this list. If I wanted both of them, I could actually click all of the above, and you can see that both graphs appear on the same set of axes. They're color-coded as they're labeled here in the vertical axis. And if I wanted to apply a linear fit to both of them, I select linear fit, and then I actually choose both the first position data and the second set of position data and click OK. And then I can move my linear fit boxes so that they're out of the way, not blocking any data. And I can still see the linear fit information and all of the data points. So this is the, an easy way for us to be able to show multiple configurations on one set of axes.